going on everyone welcome to a new video on the channel welcome to the plymouth Barracuda. formula s for today's video it's a brand new car added into the game i don't think we've had this car in any previous games before it looks pretty i love old school american muscle cars they're so so cool or whatever pony cars whatever you want to call this thing it's cool it's really really cool i'm not sure how i feel about the back end of this thing first of all where's the rest of its lights <laughs> Are they, are they in here? Hello? I've never seen this version of the Barracuda before, so I don't, I don't know. Where's, where's the reverse lights on it? Surely it can't be there. Surely one bulb cannot be everything, right? It just looks like it has just the one bulb at the back, which is, it just looks so strange. I really want to try this thing. I just want to see where the, the reverse lights are. I know the, the indicators or whatever, the blinkers. Uh, let's go into a session. Oh! That's... That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, that's clear. But it looks like it's just... It matches with the paint. That is very, very clever. I like that. I actually really like that. Anyway, this is, like I said, a brand new car added into the game. You get it with the festival playlist if you get your 20 points. Uh, the Neo isn't new. We've had that before. And there's another new car, which I'll check out in a different video. But right now... I want to drive this thing. This is cool. I don't know what I'm going to do to it. Even the wheels just look so old school. The way the center just sticks out like that. It's not particularly fast. Let's just, let's just say that now. It's not fast at all. It's, it's actually very slow. However, Merkin Muscle. You know, big old V8. How much how much power is in it? Oh, I don't know why I'm clicking that. It's, uh, it's there. 300 horsepower. 300 horsepower out of a 6.3 liter V8. I don't know how Americans ended up doing that, but they always, they always had like absolutely gigantic engines and barely making any power out of them. Also, this weighs one and a half tons, which, considering nowadays, that's it's fairly fairly average size. A little bit lighter than, than a lot of the your regular, you know, saloon cars, coupes, whatever. Especially since all of them have all-wheel drive now, and uh, making them quite heavy. It does handle like a big old bolt though. Like you can see the suspension just lean. Look at <laughs> Why did it take so long for the camera to actually go in and take a picture? It's because I'm connecting it, I think, to multiplayer. But look at that lean oh, let me do that. Look at that lean. It just it just leans. I love it. I love that about old old American muscle cars. Um uh, <laughs> It just ends up leaning. I feel like this could be a car that if I put enough power on it, and I, even if I leave the suspension the way it is, if I put enough power on it and I give it a lot of rear end grip, um, I, think, <laughs> I think this could be a really good car to wheelie with. Should I give that a shot? Should I try build a wheelie? <sighs> Should I build a wheelie tune for this thing? I feel like it, it could be possible. Like I said, it's really, really slow now. There's no point in me even driving this thing completely stuck. There's just not much I can do with it. Uh, I'll build it to try try drag race this thing with uh, with it being rear wheel drive. Let's just do that. All right. Um, a lot of engine options available for this thing to change. Uh, obviously, we could change it to uh, another 6.2 V8. <clears throat> now, there's a bunch of different engines in this thing. There's two 6.2 V8s that you can actually put in the cars. I can't remember exactly which was the LS and then which one's the Merc engine. Um, I think the Merc engine has like 500 and something horsepower if I remember correctly and this engine makes 415 Someone can correct me in the comments. I think this is the LS. The other engine is a 6.2 liter Even though it says on all the cars that it's a C63, E63, all that sort of stuff um, They're not actually 6.3 liters. They're actually 6.2 liters, but this one is a 6.16 So I think this is the LS engine. Am I right in saying that? I don't know. You guys can correct me anyway This is a diesel Engine, We've got Hemi engine. Oh, ooh, ooh, I like that. We could put that. That's kind of cool. And an 8.9 liter V8 DSC engine. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't realize we could put a 1500 horsepower. What is this from? I think I've asked you guys this before. This this has to be a racing engine from something, right? Jesus Christ. Alright, let's put that in. Because why wouldn't we? That's going to be stupid. 
Okay, we could just get rid of all the chromey bits on the front of this thing. I don't want to do that. That defeats the purpose of this being a, an old classic muscle car. With its chrome parts all over it. If I do this, I have to supercharge it. So am I going to supercharge this thing? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Actually, we can't. We can't do anything, right? It's... Well, pff, I guess it is now. It's supercharged now, boys. <laughs> Just because it says it there. Um, full drag compound tires. Uh, it's only on 205s right now at the rear, but we can change it to 305s. Thick old boys at the back. And then on the front, I mean, we don't really need bigger tires at all since we're going to drive this thing mainly in a straight line. I don't really care for that. I love the wheels, like I said, on this thing. Super, super old school classic wheels. Uh, however, there are a few drag wheels here. Some Mickey Thompson. Uh, well, racing. I don't know why I said Mickey Thompson. Those are tires. Uh, but there are some weld racing wheels. Does Mickey Thompson actually have... Yeah, they do. I was about to say, Mickey Thompson does have drag wheels. Which I completely forgot about, but... I think the world racing wheels just look a little bit more extreme, in my opinion. Especially these ones. I still wish that you could change the front and rear wheels independently. Like, I, if I if I were to change the front wheels to be like these ones, for example, and then the back wheels to be like these ones, I want to be able to do that. But that should be something that I should get the option to, to pick. Um, I'm going to pick those wheels. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm not going to change the track width on this thing. Uh, I'll do it for the rear. Um, for the front... Uh, I could do it for the front as well, doesn't really make too much of a difference though, regardless. Uh, now everything else, just slap on the best possible parts for this thing. I cannot put drift transmission on this thing, which doesn't really make too much of a difference. Um, it is a thing, I'm going to say it's a 4 speed now, as standard, because all old school muscle cars are all 4 speeds. So change that to a nice <clears throat> race transmission, which will probably bring us up to a 6 speed, because it's usually race transmission 6 speed, 7, 8, 9, 10, you know. All right, and then clutch we've already bought. Uh, get the carbon drive shaft, and this. We're just gonna get an off-road diff because that just locks it, so we don't really have to do anything there. Brakes. This is all just to make it lighter. Uh, interestingly enough, we can actually put drift suspension on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, I will put off-road race suspension on it because it gives us a little bit more adjustability in it. And that is pretty much it. Now making this thing one thousand five hundred horsepower, one thousand. Let's just say 500 newton meters of torque and only weighs 1,261 kilos. So our horsepower passed the weight mark for this car, which is going to be pretty insane, I think, to launch this thing. It's an S1832. I think I have way too much power for this actually to handle, like grip wise, for the tires to handle. Sure, we'll see. We will see. We will see. We will see. Um,. Camera the front doesn't make too much of a difference. Anti roll bias, this is as high as possible. I think this is pretty much the way to build this thing. So soft in the front and stiff in the rear. We'll see if the front end lifts enough off the ground. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is pretty much how you build rear wheel drive um, drag cars. This is how I've done it before anyway with the with the uh, the whole setup here. I think you can adjust the front of the dampers a little bit more. Um, but for now, I, I'll leave that the way it is like that. Uh, again, this is, I think, mostly if it decides to start squirreling about. You can adjust the dampers to make it so it handles a little bit better um, once that's happening. But uh, yeah, spring rates and ride height, I think this is this is the best setup, best standard setup. And then anti-roll bars doesn't matter because you're not going to be turning this thing too much left and right when you're driving in a straight line. Um, caster, I usually just leave it. I, I usually leave these the way they are. Uh, to take this off, uh, it doesn't really matter if it's at 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5, whatever. Um, but I'll probably put it to zero because, again, like we're just driving in a straight line here, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Gear ratios I have to do uh, when I'm testing them, and then these just as soft as possible because we're on a drag tire compound. So we want as much surface area on the road as possible. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is going to be dumb. Well, it won't pop a wheelie. But it's fast. It's sure <laughs> is it fast. It is very fast. I think I need to change the, the transmission on it, though. Let's bring it up to this drag strip here. Usually the one I like to test my cars on. This is not going to be fun launching this thing. I think it's going to struggle quite a bit if I don't adjust anything on it. 
Uh, I'm going to bring over to this because this is in, in the hot season and dry season. So we can uh, so we can test it out without, without having, like, you know, wet ground, pretty much. So let's try this out. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with it. Uh, so what sort of time this gets now? I mean, I don't know what time it would have gotten. It was a, was a C-Class car, I think, before. But I want to try C now with this thing. Even the paint scheme is, like, so sick on it. Obviously, I prefer the newer Barracudas, or the Cuda, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think they looked very, very cool. Uh, I don't know if the Barracuda and the Cuda, s like, share the same platform. Um, obviously, it used to be called the Plymouth Cuda after this. Oi! Oh my god! Oh, right on, just popping wheelies. Okay, I forgot to put these guys on, on Ultimate. So, I think I ended up doing some races or whatever it was, and then I just changed these to Tourist. Uh, drive tires because you can change if you change these to tourist drive tires, right? Well, let me let me give you a little bit of a bit of a tip here, right? So when you're doing some of these races, right? Uh, you can actually select uh, uh, Actually, it's not even those it's these it's these for the the weekly challenge stuff um, Where it tells you, you know win three races of this or win whatever of this it doesn't actually give you a difficulty so if you put all of them to tourist and you have a let's say a cross country event that you've created yourself that you only make one lap and it's really really short if you put them on tourist you just overtake everybody really quickly you complete a lap and then that's one of the races done so that's why for whatever reason whenever you guys see me play on tourist that is the reason why my difficulty set really really low because you can just do those and you ha you can only do well not can but you will only do one lap and everything just gets done a lot quicker so that's that's why when I'm on tourist difficulty, that's that's why you see that. Um, but yeah, I usually like to race with ultimate. Well, when I was playing the game itself, just to win races and all that sort of stuff at the very beginning of the game when it was out, I was only playing on ultimate because I was trying to get the most amount of money as I possibly could when playing this game. So highest difficulty, no traction control, no assist, none of that stuff on, um, just to get the most amount of money. That's pretty much how I played every single Forza, I think. Um, up to the up to the, up to this day, like it just you just sort of start playing it, and you know jack up the difficulty as high as possible, and uh, and all assists pretty much turned off. Makes it more fun. Makes it more fun and a little bit more challenging. Right, cool. Let's hit it. It's fast, but it takes forever to change gears. Yeah, it's fast, but it takes forever to change gears. I wonder if I could soften my rear end a little bit, if it will stop bouncing as much. 50.67. Also, launching was terrible with this thing. It, it just it just sucked. Um, so, not even a second faster. Ranger Raptor, though. Again, I am in a rear-wheel drive car. I need to get this thing to launch perfectly here. So, I'm going to adjust some stuff. Especially gear ratios as well. I need to see where my top speed is as well on this run. And adjust that accordingly. So, I'll be right back. Might be the fastest run I've done so far. I can't get it to not slip at the very beginning. 15.326, it is the fastest. Yeah, I can't get it to, like, not slip at the very beginning. It doesn't matter what I do with my transmission settings. If I bring it too far, so first gear, like, just, like, doesn't slip, it'll just bog down. So, I can't do that. Which means I have to make it so it changes. I have to change it to second really quickly. Yeah, the, the rear tires, I, I knew where it gonna be thick enough. To be able to handle all that. It needs like 395s or 385s or something. I crashed. That was bad. But they need to be wider. I don't think the rear tires are wide enough for the thing. I mean, it's 1500 horsepower and 1500 newton meters of torque. Launching this thing off the line. I also realized I have to change gears really, really high in it. I've been changing gears like nice and early because you know this is torquey and whatever and all that sort of stuff. But actually, this is the best place to change gears with this thing is like 9,000 RPM. Like I said, I've tried it in in different areas to change gears. And it just doesn't doesn't like it. It's also really really slow at changing gears. So what I'm gonna do now is try to do a run with manual with clutch, and I want to see how much faster it is like that because like I said, it takes a huge amount of time for it to change gears. So let's do manual with clutch. Let's try to do a run with this thing. I feel like this is going to be a little bit more... Uh, a 
Oh my god, it changes gear so fast! Oh my god, I didn't expect it to change gear so quickly. <laughs> that was insane. I just kept staring. 50.2! Oh man, manual clutch with this guy is insane. It's so much faster. I feel like I messed up at the very beginning though. Launching it, because I was just staring at my RPM. Let's do another run of that. 15.2 though, manual with clutch. Just massive, massive difference. Oh my god, the, the speed I can change gears with this car! That is insane! <laughs> that is so much faster. 50.13. Like, like manual, clutch, manual with clutch on this car is mental. I almost beat the Volvo actually, which is third. I don't know how what else I could do with this tune. Um, like I said, this is probably like the best tune that I can do right now for this short period of time that I decided to spend on, on building it. But that was, that was clean. It's like a what is it? Is it like is it low or mid? S S one. Oh my god. It's like low S1. It's 832. I think as an A class, if I just reduce a little bit of power on this thing. This could be really, really fast. At the top of A class. And it can actually handle its power. I messed up a little bit at the very beginning there. So that one is going to be a little slower than usual. Yeah, but it's a it's a fast car. Manual with clutch, though. Trust me, trust me. It is so well. Sure, look at it. Look at how much faster it is. Manual with clutch, and I'm still changing gears at the same RPM, around nine thousand RPM. Even this one wasn't the fastest. But I'm beating the challenger, I'm beating everything up until the Volvo now every single time that I do this. 210. That one, what was it, 150, 130, whatever it was, whatever launch I did there was so good. Again, it's just hard to get a consistent launch with it. With it being, um, so it just doesn't have a lot of grip at the very beginning. So you have to like change the second instantly. That's not the way to do it. I tried to ease on the power there, but it just doesn't work. I have to change the second immediately. I might make second a little bit longer. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Oh my god. That was so good. <laughs> that was perfect. That was literally perfect. I don't think I could have done a better run than that. 15.03. <laughs> Changed into second at such the perfect time. Where second was, I could just keep it floored. And there was no the, no loss of grip at all. Listen, for a rear-wheel drive tune with five, 1,500 horsepower, 1,500 newton meters of torque. Listen, I'll take that. I will take that. The only cars that beat me were all-wheel drive tune cars. That was literally it. And I know that's the AI, but... Oh man, manual clutch is a different league with this car. It's so fast. It's so fast, manual with clutch. That is ridiculous. Right, anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. This is a surprisingly fast car. What do you think about it? I mean, the amount of power that you can put on it. I think at the top of A class, this could be really, really good. Yeah, I think at the top of A class, this could be an absolute monster if tuned properly. I, I still think the rear tires are lacking with this thing. I feel like we should have been able to get definitely wider tires for this guy to be able to to blast off in, in first gear, pretty much. Um, but right now, I guess this is pretty much what we had to work with. But 
I love the new Barracuda. Let me know what you guys think of it. I love the old school muscle cars and all that sort of stuff. So the more of them, the better. Because I love making videos on these. They're just super, super fun to play with. Um, yeah. Again, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. A little bit of, little bit of uh, straight line action for today's video. With this new car. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.